Okay, well, here's an odd video. These are two coffee grinders, which, uh, of which we might carry neither or neither. But I just wanted to show how we sort of look at products, um, notice things. Um, these I sort of had a personal affinity for them because in the old days there was a, um, a grinder like this called a Jericho. And I don't know where it was made, if it was made in Asia, but this is a grinder you'll see around in Japan and Asia quite a lot. A lot of trucks outside. And I found out that one of the factories that's making some pretty good quality coffee roasters in, um, in Taiwan is actually manufacturing these too. But when I went online, I see that there's just all different versions in the same configuration and you'll see how incredibly similar they are um, I mean I'm not, I'm not sure if the Jericho as far as I know is the original design in this so I'm not sure if this is the one from the the shop in Taiwan who does really good manufacturing on roasters called Bella Taiwan this is a knockoff I bought on Alibaba um, the sort of Asian uh, product site that's <laughs> of, you know, various qualities. And I wanted to see what the difference was out of curiosity. Now we haven't been totally convinced. This thing is doing a really nice fine grind. Um, I mean, they have nice powerful motors, it seems. Decent quality flat burrs and a pretty much a straight drop uh, from the, um, the burrs down. So that's a great feature, um, like a mini, Malconig or something um, and I'm just shocked at how similar these these are in terms of a knockoff but I noticed some things right away and I was really curious about the grinding in the motors so let me show you a little example here excuse me so this is kind of a light roast it's a little old did it a while ago Let me load these up and see how they go. And what you'll hear, I think, is you'll hear, I'm gonna turn on the, the, what I think is the better quality one. And you can just listen to it. Now, did you hear that? The motor kind of comes up to speed. Now listen to the motor sound if you can. You hear it like, mm, so it's sort of coming up. So it seems like maybe a little bit underpowered there. And the sort of burr rotation, um, maybe putting a lot of load on the motor. So let's, uh, let's turn on this one. very uneven as it comes up to speed. You'll hear that sound. I did calibrate these, so it might be a, a little fine. It's also throwing a lot of coffee around right in here. Anyway, what I think I'm seeing is a super high rotation speed because it's just a direct drive. There's no there's no gearing essentially to the burr, so whatever this spins at, these spin at. These are definitely spinning lower. This is throwing the coffee up in here, which uh, is basically never a good thing. Um, I, I don't have a technical reason for that, but it's you basically create particles, it throws them up, they go back down, it just doesn't result in a very even grind. Neither of these are doing very well at a coarse grind. This one really isn't doing well so much at any grind. But I thought this, this might be interesting. I know, not being very careful here. Um,
interesting too, if you look here, uh, thickness of the cord. This is like a flat, I don't know, I would, a uh, lamp kind of cord. So you see something different there. This is grounded and this is not grounded. Um, I noticed this too. So you have very similar appearance here with these. Both are plastic. This has a, a machine screw. This actually has like a wood screw. A little strange. I just want to let you know that I don't treat fine equipment this way. Let me keep these straight. So yeah, both of these are essentially, you can, uh, this is where you would be adjusting and you'd be coming in here um, and you could set whatever your fine point you want and uh, that's pretty cool. Um, this has a bearing here. I noticed this one, yeah. It's a, it looks like a nice quality bearing. Uh, it's from Germany on the Taiwanese one. This, you know, it's a sealed bearing, I don't know. And then, so here's the burr quality in these. Both of these designs, we, we're seeing some fines in here. And both have a fairly straight drop down. So let me, let me come in here and take a look at these. So, you know, a machine burr, not bad. Um, this looks to me like a slightly unusual pattern that could um, trap a lot of fines here. Um, and I will admit, I'm, I'm not an industrial engineer, so I'm not really sure, and I don't really have an opinion on the particular um, teeth configuration here. But I notice that the drive is quite different to drive the, um, the grinds through. So you're dropping in right here. It's driven a very short distance and then falls out. So the design seems really sound um, on these, but what I see is a, a lot of fines. And I was doing some tests on these and that's an issue because right at the end of the grind, you will get a sort of, uh, uh, the, the, as the, it, it seems to retain coffee and you get a, a really small dusting of fine powder. What I was interested in these, with these four is because the drop is pretty, is not too much horizontal from, uh, from the hopper down uh, and out, is whether these could be used like with a coffee handle for espresso put right underneath because they seem to be doing a pretty good fine grind. Um, the shots I pulled were not very convincing. Um, this is definitely a uh, higher quality um, in terms of what I was getting as results. I think I'm seeing some better quality in, um, in, the, in the design here in the build. You know, see, you see the bearing. Um, the price on these, this I ordered from Alibaba for 60 bucks. Um, that's pretty amazing for any kind of grinder. This was $109. Um, both are relatively cheap and I was trying to consider is there some place for these? Is there some appropriate place for these in what we offer or what anyone offers? Um, you know, would people be happy with this? And I think my result as somebody who would only want really fine grinds or Turkish grinds, like I said, this burr speed is retaining the coffee too long. 
um, and in, in some cases in an inconsistent way in the burr area and then overgrinding, you know, it's essentially too fast and that motion is, I think, retaining the coffee so you're getting these sort of super fine particles, which you can even see right, um, right here, like here's a clump of fines among, that's what just came out. Um, I mean, my feeling is like, no, there's no place for this in our business because I think people who have invested in espresso want something better than this. And sadly, they got to pay for something more than this. But the new, the new Barazzas are really quite reasonable and perform really well. So, um, and actually have a true straight drop. The, the coffee drops straight down. There's no tube to retain coffee. So anyway, just thought I'd show you my fun side projects that results in nothing for Sweet Maria's, but, um, and I don't really publicize these things, but just sort of tinkering. And um, I really, really honestly don't, don't use a powered driver on equipment, I swear to God.